In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom module for the Divi theme using the Divi Module Builder plugin sold on DiviPlugins.com. This will be the first of a series of videos where I show you how to add different field types to a custom module in each video. When we get to the last video, we'll have created this custom module called the Price Drop Module that you can see on this page. I've added three instances of the module on this page and each instance has a different effect for the price. If you look at the uh, first instance, it has a roll in, roll out effect on the original and sales price. And then same thing on the second one. On the last one, I created a drop down and drop out effect. And those are available as selects in the module settings. So we'll show you how to do those in a different video. In this video, we're just going to show you how to do the product title a text field so let's create our first field and a new module when you download the Divi module builder plugin you'll have a new option in your uh, WordPress admin page and you can create a new module by clicking on the add module link at the top you'll have the option for a title so we're going to add price drop and that'll be the name that shows up in the module builder. Below that we have some information instructions and then we have three options. The make this full width option will limit the module to a full width section so it'll span the entire width of the browser window. For this module I'm going to use it in a standard section so I'm going to leave that unchecked. The next option is to activate partial VB support for this module We've worked very hard on the Divi Module Builder plugin to make it 100% compatible with the Visual Builder. And we've done that with all of our fields with the exception of custom JavaScript. So unless you have custom JavaScript, everything else will render in the live preview in the Visual Builder. And in a rare instance, you might have issues with the Visual Builder. If you do have custom JavaScript, so if you have any issues, you can deactivate this but for most instances, for most modules, you should be able to leave this checked. And then the last option at the top here is to add a tiny MC editor. This is just to add the default uh, visual text editor into a module, and we'll show you how to do that in a different video. So when you add a new module, you have all these options, <clears throat> and then you can click on the expand field for your first field. Our field is gonna be the product title field. So we're going to enter a field label and this will get added to the module when you go to enter in the input value for this field. The On the left side this will be the field label so we're going to call it product title. And then below that we have the field identifier. This needs to be unique. So we're going to do product underscore title. This module also has uh, an image, a subtitle. So for the image, I'll do product underscore image. For the subtitle, I'll do product underscore subtitle. For each custom module that you build, this field identifier needs to be unique. Below that, we have the field description, and this is optional. I'm going to enter, enter your product title, and this will get displayed below the input for this field in the module settings. Below that we have a repeat field checkbox. We'll explain that in a separate video. Below that we have our field type and it defaults to text. That's what we want for this field so we'll leave it there. But you can see that we have a lot of other options here. Text area, color, image, uh, yes no toggle, an icon, a select box, a button, and a date and time picker. We'll leave that as text. And then below that we have our optional default text. This is where you would, if you want to add a default value when someone creates a new module, you can add that here. This is not a placeholder value. This will actually be the value for this field. And since uh, this is a product title that we want to be unique for each custom module that someone adds, we're going to leave that empty. Below that, we have the design tab. This will add font control to this field. So we're going to check that and below that we have advanced tab and this will add a CSX, CSS box in the advanced tab for this field and we want that so we're going to check that. The last option is a hide field option. 
you would check this if you didn't want this field to, to be displayed in the module settings. So if you want to add text that you don't want the user to be able to change, you could hide the field, but still leave the design and advanced tabs checked so that they could control the font and the CSS for that field, but not be able to change the text. We want the user to be able to change the product title, so we're going to leave that unchecked. So that is our first field that we're going to add to this custom module. And on the right hand column, we have our HTML output. And this is where we're going to output the field. So when you add HTML to the HTML output, you would type it just like you would if you were editing an HTML file. And we also have the shortcut buttons below that you can use to add HTML conveniently. So we can add a div, we can add an H1, and it'll add those for you. If you're adding PHP to your HTML output, you would need to click the activate PHP processing button and then you would need to add PHP using Divi underscore PHP inside of brackets and this would be your opening PHP tag and then to create your closing PHP tag you would just add a forward slash and then we also have shortcut buttons for these as well so you can click on PHP down here and it'll add those for you and then once you add those inside of those brackets you can add PHP like you would if you were editing a PHP file. So we'll delete that. And then to add your field that we just created, you can publish the module and the field will become available as a shortcut button. So we can add it as HTML or we can add it as PHP. And for PHP, it's just the, it's, it's a variable, so you're just adding the dollar sign. And inside of HTML, to output a field, you would just put percentage sign twice, and then the <clears throat> field identifier, and then two percentage signs on the end. So let's create our first module HTML output, and we're gonna create a div with a class. So we have div with a price drop class and then we're going to put our product title inside of h4 tags and then we're going to add our product title. Now the important thing to remember when you're adding a field is in order to apply the design font settings and the advanced tab CSS settings to that field you need to add a special class and the formula is class equals dp underscore field underscore and then the field identifier for that field so product title is our field identifier so the class is going to be dp underscore field underscore and then the field identifier which is product underscore title this tells the module apply the font settings and the css to this class to this html element and so let's go ahead and update our module and let's add it to a page so i'm going to create a new page i'm going to call it price drop demo and we're going to open the divi builder i'm going to create the same three column layout that i showed in the original demo that i displayed in the beginning of this video and we're going to insert our module and there it is price drop and there is our first field product title so I'm gonna add first product for the value of this field and I'm gonna save and we're gonna preview and there is our first product value it's a pretty basic uh, output because all we have right now is a div with an h4 tag but we can go back and let's make some design font changes here's our product title text <clears throat> and we can change our uh, font to something distinguishable black ops one 
let's change the color to red and let's change our text size to something big here and then let's save and preview again and there is our font changes let's go back and actually uh, go to the advanced tab and we'll see that we have our product title as a CSS box we can add a font or a uh, border 1px solid black so let's save that in preview and we have a border now so I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a draft and then open up the visual builder and you can see there is our font or our first module and if we click on the settings we have first product we'll change it to first product one adding our text in the live preview we can go to the design tab and we can change our font to a different font change the font size get rid of our border and all of our changes are happening in the live preview so we've created our first custom module at the beginning of it anyway and we've created our first text field and follow-up videos we're going to show you how to complete this module so that the end result looks like this and if you want to follow along in these videos you can go to DiviPlugins.com and download the Divi module builder and you can follow along as we go and we'll also have this module available on the website as a free download so you can <clears throat> import the module into your website after you download the Divi module builder plugin and the module will be complete and you can insert it into a page and play around with it and make any kind of changes that you want thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for the next one